Google Nexus 10 shortages hint to a possible refresh coming soon. The iPad mini with Retina display hasn't even launched yet and they're already talking about shortages as well. And Samsung sells 40 million Galaxy S4 devices in six months. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if a company gives you a thin phone with no excuses, removable storage, and a replaceable battery, they deserve their success. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some more official news from Microsoft. Just as yesterday they decided to keep the Surface for another year, they're doing the same with the Surface Pro from last year, at least until supplies last. You get the 64 gig model for $699 and the 128 gig model for $799, which is $100 less on the price tag, and it's really good. And if you think about it, I mean, we actually recommend that this tablet this is a very good tablet. And unless you're looking for better battery life and the new features of the Surface Pro 2, this tablet is good enough for you and it's $200 less, so keep it in mind. Now let's talk about some official news from Samsung as their company CEO, J.K. Shin, just came on record to state that the company had sold 40 million Galaxy S4s in six months. And yes, I'm talking just about the Galaxy S4. Obviously, Samsung ships devices. They don't really sell. We don't really know exactly how many devices are actually sold from carriers and not on the shelf. But still, I mean, this is the most popular Android phone in the market, whether you like it or not. And these don't include the sales of the Galaxy Note 3 just yet. So yeah, they're growing. Now let's go through some official news from HTC, and no, they did not sell 40 million units, but at least they treat their customers a lot better when it comes to software updates. The company is on a roll. Now they have a version of Android 4.3 for the international HTC One that also includes Sense 5.5, which debuted on the HTC One Max. And this is great, I mean, if you have an HTC One international variant, you can get it now. Sadly, we don't know what to expect for the US variants, you know how things go with the carriers, but still, it's awesome to see that HTC has figured out the software game better than Samsung, where my old Galaxy S3 doesn't have anything compared to the HTC One X already. Now let's talk about Apple, as the company has not even begun selling the iPad mini with Retina display. It won't even be sold on November 1st, if you didn't know. It's actually available later in November, no specific dates. And analysts are already predicting that Apple will have shortages for this tablet, a la gold iPhone 5S, meaning it's going to be really bad. Apparently, the company is only building a third of the iPad minis that they planned for the iPad mini launch last year, which is really bad since a lot of us are waiting for the iPad mini with Retina display even though a lot of us are still choking ourselves with that price tag and are thinking about it. Uh, still, let's see how it plays. We just still don't have any dates, so again, these could just be rumors. And finally, for the hot news of the day, another company that's experiencing shortages, but actually good ones, is Google with their Nexus 10. This could mean that the tablet is finally due for a refresh, uh, which is a very due refresh since the Nexus 10 wasn't really as popular as Google expected it to be. And apparently this new one will be an ASUS-made tablet that's kind of been leaked out there. This has probably been the worst leaked tablet ever. We don't really know much about it. We've only seen one render, and it looks very Photoshopped. It's a portrait ASUS tablet, and let's just see what to make of that. But still, you know, um, that leads me to the question of the day. Are you looking forward to a Nexus 10 refresh? Is it something that you're looking for? Because in my particular case, you know, the Nexus 10 had great specifications. It was a beautiful tablet, but honestly, the Nexus 7 killed it for me. I like the Nexus 7 a lot more. I consider it to be more convenient. So leave us a comment down below. Are you waiting for the Nexus 10 or are you going for the Nexus 7 now? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to read the news earlier before this video gets filmed, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.